This is Soul Scientific Production presenting, Stoichiometry of a Precipitation Reaction. In this reaction a solid or precipitate forms. Subscribe, to get more information from this channel. Title, Stoichiometry of a Precipitation Reaction. Introduction. Sodium sulfate and barium chloride react immediately they are mixed. A white solid forms, which is barium sulfate. Amount of the product formed, barium chloride, is determined by the limiting reactant. This reaction is as follows. Barium chloride plus sodium sulfate gives barium sulfate plus sodium chloride once the moles of the limiting reactant are consumed the reaction stops materials a 0.5 molar barium chloride labeled as a b 0.5 molar sodium sulfate labeled as b c10 test tubes D2 by 250 milliliter beakers. Procedure A. Collect 100 milliliter each of barium chloride and sodium sulfate. B. Set up a water bath in a 500 milliliter beaker. C. Transfer barium sulfate to a burette and add to the test tubes as shown in the table below. You will need seven test tubes, to be filled with appropriate volumes, of barium chloride as shown in the table. Use a 10 milliliter graduated measuring cylinder, to measure the indicated volumes. Place the seven test tubes in a water bath. Procedure 2 A. Place the test tubes, containing barium chloride, in the water bath b while the test tubes containing barium chloride are in the water bath clean and rinse the burette with some sodium sulfate fill the burette with a solution of sodium sulfate c remove the test tubes one by one and whilst still warm add the corresponding volume of sodium sulfate Note that the total volume in each test tube must be 10 milliliter. D. Put the test tubes in a test tube rack and let stand for 30 minutes until the precipitate has settled to the bottom of the test tube. E. Note the color and height of precipitate in each test tube. F. Record your results in the table below. In this table, calculate the moles of barium chloride and moles of sodium sulfate independently. Additionally, indicate the height of the precipitate in millimeters. Results and data analysis A. Plot a graph of height of precipitate versus combination of solution volumes. B. Draw tangents to both arms of the curve and drop a perpendicular line to the x axis. Find the moles of barium chloride and those of sodium sulfate. C. Discuss the difference, if any, from the values obtained from the perpendicular line and the values obtained from the test tubes. Clean up. A clean environment is a safe environment. So clean up your workspace, leave the stools under the bench and wash your hands before leaving the laboratory.